um today i just wanted to talk about um i saw a darth microtransaction release a video about whether or not this game was pay to play or play to win and he definitely gave a resounding reason for you to clearly understand that the game's pay to win and why you should not be paying to play either um the rewards in the end do not justify the expenditure that you are having to give into the game like you know typically you want to see a one-to-one -one ratio right meaning like you know if i pay this then i get this back which doesn't exist inside marvel future revolution but it brought up a question for me about the game in a whole and the games that i plan on bringing to you guys in terms of content obviously marvel future revolution is the primary mobile because or the primary wagon for the channel because it's the most current for the channel right meaning marvel future revolution is new but that doesn't mean that i won't in the end give you guys more marvel content it was in the beginning it was like kind of um it was a it was a you know fuck you kind of marvel thing by having you know the logo that i had designed for it but um ultimately i would like to be giving you guys game content for marvel overall in terms of all marvel properties and games and so forth like that with a primary focus inside marvel future revolution and marvel future fight so let's talk about something in terms of pay to win uh culture and uh pay to play culture versus free to play at the core of everything inside the games we need a free to play player base because a free to play player base player base gives the pay to play players something to engage with you know if it was just the pay to win players you know like for instance if half sin was the only person spending ten thousand dollars on the game well that's not going to really generate anything for you know the game base even though he's giving ten thousand dollars for the developers it's not really still helping um he still has to and, and how much how long and for uh, is he going to pay ten thousand dollars a month for you know in order to keep up with the game environment when he has no player to play with so keep that in mind marvel future revolution is definitely uh, a play to win game um if you go inside the store purchasing any of the costumes and stuff like that the cost versus benefit ratio isn't really there meaning you know you, the longevity of the game for the players as a free to play game is there because there's enough content in the game and there's the assumption that there's going to be more content for the game in months to come i don't have any doubt in my mind that we are going to get loads heavy of content from marvel future revolution and i'm having excitement like i definitely was a pay to play player uh upon release in a soft launch i won't shy away from the fact that i probably spent somewhere in the vicinity of 500 but i quickly realized that a lot of the purchases that i was making specifically i pointed out in other videos were just simply not worth it um and a lot of the pay to play players actually realize this um that they just were not worth it that doesn't mean that you're going to stop having players who are going to wail out on like rise of the east sets and things like that in the future but we need those players because that's how the game becomes sustainable for the developers and that marble and how they you know continue to make future content because this game doesn't have a driving force where they are going to be getting stuff from ad revenue or stuff like that inside the game so they we need those pay to win players so i wouldn't look down on those pay to pay to players if you want to be a pay to play player or pay to win player you should be able to do that and um there shouldn't be any you know disrespect or ill regard from free to play players for that because free to play players you didn't play anything into the game and you need those people to have a game in the first place so keep that in mind marvel future revolution is a fun game you don't have to pay anything into the game to have fun with the game like i have a lot of fun with the daily um the daily repetitive the daily uh repetition the grind of the game i still have fun with you know all the raids all the battle challenges and things like that and as you guys saw from my video earlier i'm still able to get rewards and a lot of the rewards that i'm not getting are literally because i'm locking myself out from getting those rewards because i'm just playing the game now at this point to have fun so i'm not like pressuring myself to complete every battle challenge or jump into dark zone and you know violate myself mentally because i'm having to go up against you know uh pay to win players i'm but i'm still Still able to generate rewards for my character that still get forward progression like when i first began this channel clearly i was really low in power level and now i'm sitting at almost 820,000 power so there's still progression that can be made in terms of the game even as a free-to-play player and like i said since the soft launch i haven't invested any money in the game other than the uh alpha 
and Omega Future memberships. And I was pretty clear with everybody that I think the Alpha Future, the Alpha and Omega Future memberships and the Alpha and Omega Squad Rank Up bundles are some of the best. I posed the question to you guys. Should I purchase the um, one of the Epic Mission Quest box that was inside there? Um, and that's going to be one of those things. Now, if that sounds daunting to you guys because you want to be able to compete in the Dimension Duels, you want to be able to compete inside Dark Zone and stuff like that, there are workarounds to those things so that way you can play those modes without having the pressure of fighting these other players. It's there for you. If you just ultimately, you know, feel like, hey, there's just way too much pay to win inside this game and there's nothing I can do. There's other games. The whole, that's the whole point of the channel and me showing you other games like Marvel Future Fight. Let's slip slip topic, topic over to Marvel Future right, Fight real quick. That game has been out for uh, half a decade now, five, six years, and they have over 200 plus characters inside the game um and they're releasing more so for instance that game follows the movie schedule it follows the cinematic schedule it follows the disney plus schedule so releases of new content are constantly dropping in that game and in that game i do feel like there's a one-to-one -one scenario in terms of paying like for instance you pay for a character's uniforms you get that character's uniforms there's no rng to that you want a new character you get the new character upon release you want any of the exclusive characters you pay the cost of those exclusive characters and you get it upon release so you pay for for what you get that doesn't mean that there's not any rng at all but the game also doesn't have a primary focus in pv pvp it has a great focus inside pvp from squad rank battles to uh world boss legends to um alliance battles and so forth those are all pve endeavors but you can engage in pvp endeavors in that game as well and still feel pretty competitive and like you're having a good time um so like if you were looking for a game that feels a lot less played play to win but it's probably more pay to play marvel future fight is probably the game for you and like i said you know i showed some of the video and i'll continue to show some of the video for that game it's very and it's very intriguing especially to you know anybody like if you like this content inside here i've said it and i can will continue to say it marvel future revolution is pretty much the spiritual successor to marvel future fight i feel in my heart of hearts like this game is marvel future fight 2.0 and that we're going to probably see a lot of overlap because between player bases between Marvel Future Fight and Marvel Future Revolution. And trust me, the store there is definitely as familiar as the store is here. I definitely am thinking that Marvel Future Revolution will end up with a lot more PvE content coming down the road. Um, I know we've, we're getting probably more likely some more PvP, P, PvP content, but I feel like it's on the horizon. I, I feel like we're going to get a sweep, uh, sweeping of characters. Clearly, we're not going to get it on the same update cycle like, you know, like Marvel Future Fight, for instance. Next month, you know, uh, or not next month, this week, actually, Marvel Future Fight is scheduled to drop his V74 patch. And that's going to include, you know, the characters from the movie Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings currently. So we're confirmed that we're going to get uh, Aquafina's character, Katie. We're going to get Simu lose um shang chi we're gonna get tony young's um mandarin there's a possibility in the mid-month patch or maybe after that that we'll get uh, uh xiang li's uh sisters yelling I, I hope i'm saying that right i I'm, i don't know fucking asian uh mandarin or you know cantonese or any other language spoken in chinese to to know that i'm saying those names right but we're going to get those characters. So it's uh, it's one of those set things that, you know, like if you really want to be engaged on the current updates, you know, we'll probably have them inside a game like Marvel Future Fight. And it's a one to one. You're going to be paying to play or you can be completely free to play and get a lot of rewards inside that game as well. But then we move over to another game like Marvel's Avengers hasn't had the best of releases you know not not in terms of its first year but you can see that the developers at crystal dynamics are taking the game by the horns as best they can and trying to produce quality content that will bring back the player base and enthrall people obviously the better version is probably going to be on the ps5 especially with the release of spider-man expected sometime in december we just got the war for wakanda which was a huge expansion by the way it was a 
Squid expansion, and it was, you know, hours of gameplay value added for completely free. You got a whole character completely free. Um so there's content there right like i would say like you know i think people would argue with me and say that that game is uh could be considered pay to play as well but it's not it's completely free to play free to play as fuck friendly i mean we got hawkeye we got uh kate bishop we got black panther um we're scheduled to get spider-man along with eight other avengers from hulk to thor to iron man to captain america to black widow all of these characters were in the game upon release at 25 hours plus gameplay and they all came with unique storylines and everything like that and you just basically had to pay for the content out the box now do they microtransaction you in terms of trying to give you costumes and things like that sure because the game still needs to be able to generate revenue so that way the developers are getting paid and have reason to still contribute to the game so it's one of those good trade-offs where it's like you know yeah, every bit of the content that you're getting completely free you don't have to pay for any of the dlcs none of them and you get them completely free and guess what they even started saying hey you know what we realize that some of these people want these movie costumes inside here so we're going to give them the movie costumes so that game is a completely free to play experience in that regard you know you can purchase the game at launch you know at its launch bundle whatever it is the legendary expansions or whatever the fuck they are and you get all of the content and all of the characters and that's a great aspect from you you know where you transition to games like marvel contest of champions and marvel strike force and they're completely 100 percent pay to win like there's there's no doubt about that that game is one those two games are 100 percent pay to win but it still had they still have a large base inside those games like i remember when tony Bing gaming was playing marvel strike force and i was playing those games at the same time to be honest with you uh there's going to be future games that we've got coming out from you know guardians of the galaxy to uh the midnight suns game that are getting released De depending on your level of interest in those games i'll probably be covering those games as well and uh, over the future so those games are going to be really really good i would pay attention to those games you know in terms of like what kind of content i'm planning on producing and what kind of you know game you're really inspired to most of us are playing these games because we're really inspired and really enthralled with the marvel property it's not necessarily the gameplay overall we want to have good gameplay but we're really enthused about seeing some of our favorite characters in games and i think it's a great thing you know i used to play the hell out of marvel heroes omega until they closed down that studio which really disappointed me because i loved that game i thought it was a great arpg i would love to see marvel come out with another arpg style game like that it was really good but all of this to say is that there's an experience across the board with marvel games in general that should appeal it should appeal to anyone in the player base marvel future revolution is a game greatly greatly you know appreciate it and even a free-to-play aspect if you've played it for any amount of time you know how much fun it is to be playing as any character that you invested in investing in those characters and seeing those power level goes up are great so don't feel discouraged by seeing videos that say you know marvel future revolution is pay to win or this game is pay to play or that game is this there's something for you find it in the marvel properties hopefully if you have a question about one of those i can answer them for you and i'll definitely generate content for you about that um but yeah that's about all guys i just wanted to give you that as a follow-up video to this morning's video about the weekly rewards because the weekly rewards were showing you that you know yeah you can be a pay-to-play player or even a free play and still st stay within that realm uh lastly guys thank you for subscribing to the channel i would like to see more of you guys the viewership has been amazing over the past month i would like to see more of you guys subscribe to the channel uh like and comment in the sections below i'll respond to any comment to be honest with you in the section uh whether you like my comment back to you or not i'm gonna call you call a spade what a spade is you know what i mean like I, if you look at one of my previous videos somebody commented on there i'm gonna call that clown a clown what he is but um I'm also planning on doing a giveaway for a gift card probably once this channel reaches 100 subscribers and when I reach rank or uh, power ranking 1 million I'll probably do another uh, giveaway at that point so stay tuned for that um, get these guys liking and subscribing dudes. <laughs>
and we'll get those uh those uh rewards going for you guys so that way you guys can uh be play to play as well all right guys until next time remember like subscribe peace